I'll be showing you how to export an object and some specific records. And I'm going to use my pet example. And it'll be like the example I'm using is, for example, a dog a dog adoption center wants to adopt only the neutered slash uh, neutered slash fixed dogs. And I'm going to click export now. So they only want the neutered slash export dogs. So I have to show them. Like, well, I'm just pretending, like, if I'm pretending, so I have to show them only those dogs. And what we're going to do is we're going to show all Salesforce objects. And then we need to find pet. Where is it? Okay, wait. Found it. And then we're going to browse and just make a new one. And let's call it pet export. And I'll just do that and then save. And then we click. Oop. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'll I'll just get to the part where I'm at when <laughs> I actually get to where I was before. And then you click next. Just wait for it. And then you just have to select the fields below that that's gonna be in it. So I kind of need to remember because I might have forgot, but. I think it's, I just, I'll just choose myself. Um, owner ID, do we, yeah, we just have to find the owner and then animal, well actually this is just be, it's dogs only and then, um, actually it's all dogs so, I don't know, it just, it doesn't matter cause I'm just showing an example. So the neuters, oh yeah, then that, Registered, and then let's add, okay, this one. So what I did last time, like the video I made before, which I turned, which we turned private, it's actually, I actually forgot to click the add condition button. So that's why my dad told me I had to remake it. So the fields that we're going to do is, oh yeah, neutered, slash, fix, oop. I saw this thing wrong. And then the operation will be equals true and then add condition. And then you can see it add over here. Click finish. Yes. You have to click yes to begin. Yes. <coughs> okay. There's an error. Add true. doesn't say I can do it wait I'm gonna check what the error is so I'm gonna pause the video and try to find out okay, so what I had to actually do was I think I had to choose the query fields below so I click all of them over here like all of the important ones and everything and then you click add condition after doing all this so if it's a checkbox field that you want to like add a condition on then it has to be true if you want only the checkboxed ones but if you want the unchecked boxed ones then you probably just do false so just do that and click finish and you have chosen to perform an export click yes to begin do you want to proceed yes <laughs> I have to log in again. My dad says because I was like away for too long. Well, and I wasn't trying to figure out what the problem was for that amount of time. I just went to go eat and then, you know, like daily stuff. And then just click export and then log in. Mm -hmm. And then allow, and then click next, and then show all his servers, and then I'm gonna find it over. Where is it? Oh, here. Pet. I think I might have. Oh yeah, there. And then you're gonna do browse. 
pet export pet export port two and then save and then we have to do next and then we have to do name and let me see owner ID no I don't think we have to check that thing hmm owner ID is deleted okay, just check all of this animal owner this registered I color and then a condition should be the fields that we're gonna do is you already know new new oh, new third slash fixed and then operation equals true wait I think we have to actually yeah you have to actually choose it from here because if you don't then it'll probably be wrong and then yeah yep I click finish and then yes okay finally it actually works for once and that's how you do it and thank you for watching and if you want to learn more just go to the next one goodbye Thank <laughs> you.